let's put our hands together to welcome our very last speaker of today, of our very special day, which is Miss Pauline from Art Tales Penang. Hello, Miss Pauline. Hello, Hello Miss Pauline. Today we gonna I'm gonna teach you how to make a origami a very simple origami uh, Mother's Day card something like this. Okay. Wow, that's nice. The material that you need is very simple, just color cards, ribbons, pencil, pens, and if you need any uh, additional decorations such as glitters, sequins, you may do so. You can add in. Ooh, I think I have all this pre prepared. Ah, yeah. Hello. That one. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, maybe now I shall pass the screen to teacher Polly and then we'll all do crafts together, alright? Right. Okay. See you later! Okay, hi everyone, I'm teacher Pauline here and today I'm going to teach you how to make an origami Mother's Day card. So it's a very simple, I'm sure you can find the materials in your at home. Only you need to do is you need a uh, ribbons, colorful cuts, scissors, glue, and also a marker pens or color pen. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to use any green color cuts or any color cuts for the vase. And you're gonna do the vase first. Okay. And what you need to do is you need to fold the paper. Wait, I bend down the screen here. I, okay, this is a color paper. What you need to do is you fold the paper into a half. So the folding section, you put at the bottom and you start to draw the vase using pencil and ruler. You can draw any size you want. gonna be like this. Can you see? <laughs> yeah, I think some of you did this before, but it's okay if you want to do it again, you can do it again. Okay. After you draw, you use a marker pen to trace the outline. So, So then we can start cutting. Once you finish cutting, you put this at the side and you take any other color papers that you have or you can even get a wrapping paper like this where we don't need to do, we need to fold the flowers. Okay. 
you need to fold a small size. Then you need to get a pen knife. You need to cut out like this. It's best that you can find the color paper where there is two sides, same design. So if not, you can get a wrapping paper. Then you need to fold slightly small square or rectangle like this. Right? And use a pencil and draw a shape of our petals. And you cut it out. Fold it, then you have a shape like this. Okay, make few because each flower will need three of this. So it depends. You can make about three flowers to five flowers, depends. So we're gonna continue to make more petals to make sure all of them have the same size. You can use back the first one, and you fold the paper. Put them together and you trace the shape so you can get all of them even. So now I have three, three of the petals. So what you're going to do is you put one of them in the middle, you open it, and the other two you fold back into half. Okay. So those that you fold, use a glue. You put a bit of glue at the side. And then use a full one and stick on the one side like this. See, this is the one that we fold just now, and this is the one that we fold and stick on the one side. Did the same thing for on the other side. So it's going to be like this when you open it up. So you can make as many as you want. It can be about three to five flowers. And then you spec the green paper just now that you do to make the vase to go and make the stem. So what we need for the stem is we need to fold. Okay, 
If it's too long, you can cut it into half. We need roughly about this size. Okay. So once you're done with the petals, use the green stem that you prepared just now and stick at the back like this. Okay, so this is how it looks like. You can try different different colors of color papers and wrapping papers. So when you put them all together, it actually looks nicer. Okay, so you leave this aside. You go back to the vase, which is the one that we prepared earlier. Okay, we need to do something for the front. You can decorate it. You can draw or you can even color using any colors, uh, pencils, crayons, or color pens. Okay, so what I have with me now is a pink. I'm going to draw a heart shape. And try different different colors. Okay, if not, you can just simply put a simple color papers decoration for the middle. Okay, okay. after you're done with the decorating the vase, you will need to make two small holes on each side. If you can get a puncher, it's easier. If not, you can actually Draw a small hole and then you can use knife to cut the hole in the side. This two side, you need two side like this. Okay. After you cut, you open it up. The pot in the middle. The reason why I put this is you can leave a message for your mom. You can write Happy Father's Day or how much. Or you can show how much you love your mom. You can write it here. Okay. But before you stick this message paper, you make sure that you stick the flower first. Okay, you need to stick the flower first. Okay. After you're done, you can use any color pen or marker pen that you like and leave your message here. So I'm going to do mine.
Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I went too fast. Sorry. I, I wait for your phone. <laughs> If you need me to repeat the tissue to fold the flower, do let me know, okay? Hi. Okay, so I guess you're done folding the flowers. Okay, so once you're done folding the flowers, remember to stick the stem. You can get as many as you want. Then you have to start to arrange how you want to put on the vase. So some of them you can put a bit slightly lower, so then some a bit higher. So at least it looks more realistic that way. After you're done with the sticking the flower and you need to prepare small paper in the middle to leave your message. And fold back the vase, then only you start to punch the holes. Before you punch the hole, you make sure the paper is even. If not, it will be difficult for you to put the ribbon later on. So I'll put the ribbon first. Okay, you just put it from the back. Get any ribbon, any size you like. So what I have with me now is this white ribbon. That I can find in my glass. Make sure you write the message in the ins inside first before you put a ribbon on so that you don't have to take it out again and write it and put it back on. Try not to tie too tight because if it is too tight, the paper will crumble and it won't look that nice. Okay, so once you're done tying the ribbon, you look like this. Okay, it's complete. And if you have more choices of colors paper, if you can get a thicker one, the thicker paper for the vase, 
And well, for the flowers, you can use a normal size, normal grams paper. So for the card, I usually get 260 gram. And well, for the normal paper, it can usually about standard on 80 to 70. Okay. So if you have any questions, you can uh, shoot me with it <laughs> and... Hello teacher! Hi! <laughs> Easy. Uh, I think it's a bit, my time is a bit short because I did quite fast. <laughs> I hope you guys can make it in time. Yeah, maybe the kids will need more time to create because they. I'm pretty sure that they want to make a like a big bouquet for the parents, right? Yeah. So the as well. Ah, that's cute. Um, yeah, I'm a bit lazy to make so many, so I make one big one. <laughs> that is so nice. <laughs> Thank you. So it's really easy to follow and I hope that the kids, you guys can like be like teacher if you meet many right stocks together. So maybe all of you can combine as well. And also I made a red color one, but of course, you know, maybe in a pack of color papers, you have so many colors, right? Then feel free to mix and match. Okay. And then also, um, if you have made a very nice bouquet of flower, remember, remember to take pictures and then show us as well. So you can upload and hashtag us. So what can they hashtag? Dun -dun -dun. Yes, it's right here. Hashtag Google Kids as well as hashtag Learn at Home. So that for me, um, Google Kids and Miss Pauline, all of us can see your uh, outcomes, your cards, and also your sharings as well, okay? Okay, teacher, can you tell, tell us a little bit about your center? You are um, based in Penang, right? Yeah, yeah I'm based in Penang. I teach kids from age four to about well, primary school. Sometimes I have adults as well, but it really depends because art is, okay. is a quite uh, wide lesson. So for usually my center, I start with drawing. I teach mostly on drawing and coloring, painting. Well, for such, something like origami, usually I do it during school holidays. Oh, I see. So my teaching type is usually more, <laughs> sorry. Usually the way of my drawing usually is, uh, is try to make it as simple as possible so that even uh, you don't need to be a very talented person to draw. You can be, that's why all the steps are very simple. So for, even like for examples, you should use shapes to create some things, like to create apples or fruits, vegetables, people as well. So, so that you can follow. Yeah. So besides drawing, do you like teach um, them like from drawing to painting as well? Yes, they will start from drawing first and then they'll do painting and coloring step by step. I see. So what kind of medium do you teach or you teach all kinds of medium as well? Yeah, I teach usually mixed media such as um, color pencil, crayon, oil pastel, acrylic paint, poster paints. I think usually about roughly the common one. Wow, okay. So once again, if you would like to know more about Meet Pauline's classes, right, you can always go to www.gokids.my to find out more about it. All right. So, um, teacher, so is there anything else that you would like to share with them? Uh, <laughs> I... Maybe you can try and check on my Facebook uh, Facebook page. I usually upload uh -huh. all my kids out there. And for those, if you're from KL, you can actually join our uh -huh. holiday year-end program, which I have it every year during December. So oh, it's, it's going to be held in KL or in KL? 
I is in Penang also. So, but it depends for those that they are coming for holidays. You can actually drop your kids by mm -hmm. look around our class. And because it's a holiday program, so that it's only during school holiday, December, during year end. I see. So it's going to be like a one day workshop, is it? Yes. Mm, nice. And then may I ask, right, are you uh, on the island or uh, at the mainland side? Oh, the island. Oh, right, right. So usually how many students will there be in one class? Usually it's a small group class, means it's about maximum about eight, eight to six mm -hmm. students per class. And mm -hmm. if the class duration is about one hour and a half to two hours. I see. Okay. Um, so, um, did you mention about the age range as well? Like from what age to what age? Uh, age four and above. Yeah. Oh, four and above. Yes, age four and above. Oh. Okay, starting from four can start to like learn how to draw already. Yes. Because <laughs> that is more on like for each four, they usually practice on motor skill. So we teach them mm -hmm. more on uh, coloring instead of drawing. So for drawing, usually we start from six. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Okay, once again, thank you so much, Teacher Pauline. And we hope to see you again. As well as if you would like to know more about um, Teacher Pauline's classes as well as the program, feel free to contact us to get more information. Thank, thank you, so Teacher much. Pauline. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye.